All right, I'm sitting with uh, Pat Mastriani, mm -hmm. uh, also known as Joy Jeremiah, mm -hmm. Simone Springer, mm -hmm. Stacy Mississon, Caitlin Ryan, mm -hmm. and uh, Stefan. Stefan. Yeah. Stefan. <laughs> he must correct people 80 times a day. It, it <laughs> happens, yeah. Ste Stefan. Stefan Brogren. Brogren. Right, yeah. there we go. Uh, Archie the Snake uh, yeah. Simpson. <laughs> um, so, first of all, you two on the right, uh, Gemini Award winners. We well, are all, all three of us. Awards. All three of us. I didn't, I, didn't, yeah. I, I didn't read that about you, so I, I, yeah. I'm not sure. But I just no, like, Stacy and Pat won for party. performance. <laughs> okay. They both won for acting. I was nominated, but never won because I was too good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I won for directing. But uh, which everybody gets. Like really, a directing yeah. award is like a, everyone gets one of those. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, but we have all. But they've actually received for acting. So. Yeah. They're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I actually, well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making me laugh. Yeah. You guys had a pizza party yesterday. Uh, it was a ticketed event. It was awesome. I got to film bits of it and it was go do so got a fun video about it. Yeah. Um, and really, it was like, it was well worth the money. I oh, mean, it was good. a lot of fun. And I was here. And I was like, I've never been to a panel like this in my life. This is like, <laughs> you're like getting in touch, touch the fans, getting like up up close and personal. And they got to talk to you. And yeah. Prizes. And it just, wow, like that's a really good way to interact with fans. I, I was surprised it went as well as it did, to tell you the truth. I, yeah, I, yeah I, we've, I, we've never done anything really quite like that before. No. That was that was uh, Pat's brainchild. It yeah. Was, yeah. It was it's really smart. Nice. Stacy, tell them what we do at movie theaters when we do our Well, screenings. yeah, that's true. At movie theaters, uh, like we'll, we'll show the screening of, we'll do a screening of Schools Out. Yeah. And then after there'll be a Q&A and we do like VIP parties where it's like a select group of people and we'll we'll mingle with them and we'll, they can ask us as many questions as they want and we'll be like right there. It's more intimate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so that is essentially the same thing as the pizza party. I just wasn't sure how the pizza party was going to go, <laughs> but it had that same vibe. And it is nice. It's nice because it's, it's more Well, you're breaking one bread one. also. It's yeah. nice to sit and kind of feel it's like... It's casual. There's yeah. something that happens to the environment uh, when... You, uh, well, the, the, the human interaction when, it, when, you, when you sit down to eat with somebody, that's, that's magical. That, mm -hmm. This has been written about better than I can speak about it, but... You have, I wanted to talk to you for, for one second about you. I, I mentioned this to you earlier when I was, before the, even the panel began, that you're like a really hard working guy. Mm -hmm. um, I, your work ethic, because I've looked at your CV, your acting CV, and it's so, I mean, I, I could fill the page with what you've been on, so I, I can't possibly name everything. Um, but you really tried like crazy, like you did Degrassi, and you mm -hmm. said there was a period of time for like a decade where you yeah. were trying to talk about Degrassi because you're trying to explore mm -hmm. other avenues, and now you sort of come full circle. Um, so I, don't, I just wanted to tell you that that's a compliment. Like, uh, hey, thank you. You know what? We we all look at other people's careers and wish we had their careers. You know, we all sometimes say, "Did I do enough? Did I get the opportunities to do what I really, really wanted to do?" And even back in the late '90s, I said to myself, "If this is all I ever do and this is all I ever accomplish, I'm very proud of my career. All the other stuff is gravy." And for me, these days. It is about interacting with the fans. It is about connecting with the people that grew up watching us and gave us our careers. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for me, it's about the legacy that we leave when we're no longer here. And, and if they remember us for Degrassi and that we touch their lives, then that means a lot to me. Yeah. Um, I have no kids. Uh, you know, when I'm gone, this show is going to be what I leave behind to the world to, to remember me by. Wow. I don't mean to be profound. I'm not that deep, but I, I know what, what that's what my reality is. And that's, you know, I want Degrassi, the legacy to be remembered fondly and to be for people to say, yeah, that Pat was a nice guy and yeah. I got to meet him once and that was fun. I got to enjoy meeting him. And, and for me, that's this opportunity that I have here at these events. So, uh, so you're saying that everyone that comes to these events are your children and they're it, carrying on your legacy. It really is. It is like my children, but yeah. it is like I get to touch and give them a moment. And that's, that's important to me well I, I want to talk to you Stefan for one second yes. um, uh, you you're exploring you're going beyond acting you're trying to get behind the scenes a lot mm -hmm. uh, acting producing directing um, and, and actually uh, you and Degrassi fans know this you've, you're the only Degrassi actor I think that's been in every single season of Degrassi yes okay <laughs> this is a Senate confirmation hearing yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes yeah. Uh, I and uh, one one thing I actually find interesting about you is um, you were you, I think you had a lot to do with the specials and I love the specials. Um, I, I, well, I'm going to riff off a few of them: Degrassi, The Dead, Curse of Degrassi, Degrassi Goes Hollywood, Degrassi Takes Manhattan. Are you getting your inspiration from the Muppets? Or <laughs> totally. Are you kidding? Like, well, I'll tell you this: that the uh, like the Degrassi, The Dead, and the Curse of Degrassi. Like, I got to, they they gave me so much leeway because it was they were webisodes. They don't know if they knew what they were going to do with them. It was sort of like the Wild West of what like. 
the internet was going to be showing as far as inter- like w- there's the TV show and then you're gonna have all these uh, smaller yeah. pieces that, of the puzzle. And so they let me write them and direct them and just they gave me a budget and it was crazy. And and I remember doing Degrassi of the Dead just because I loved horror movies and I wanted to do I thought it'd be really fun for us to kill everyone off on Degrassi. <laughs> and but and you know, I don't know if I how I saw myself getting into more episodic television, but for, lucky for me, the network saw the Degrassi of the Dead webisodes, which worked out to be about 20 minutes. And they said, if we can add another 10 minutes, we can make this into a half hour Halloween special for TV, which got me in the union. Nice. <laughs> and so it was actually that thing where I, uh, I, 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 I could have just done some Degrassi webisodes and they would have got some traction, but they gave me the opportunity to play sort of with stuff that I am interested in. And it was, uh, it got me in the door and then, you know, I was doing some episodes. I got nominated for some episodes. And then Degrassi goes, Hollywood's coming along. It's going to be this two hour movie they're going to do, two hour television movie. And the only reason I got that really is that, first of all, it was supposed to be Kevin Smith was supposed to be directing it. Oh. But they could not get him on board because they needed 10 out of 10 as far as uh, Canadian creators are on it. And that would have been bad for tax credits. Yeah. And we were on a phone call with Kevin. He's like, look, and I'm, I, I still want to be in it, but the only way I'll do it is if Stefan directs. So he, I was not necessarily up to direct a two-hour movie all of a sudden after doing four episodes of the show. <laughs> but because of Kevin, that was a big deal for me. He really got me in the door as far as uh, being able to, to, to do what I do. And since then, yeah, I've been able to just keep going, which is great. Stacey? Um, uh, well, you actually, I, I think you, I, we're, the, we're the only uh, Degrassi former Degrassi character from, from their show to, uh, to be in the, the, cl- the next class reunion. I think you were the only one who actually uh, like made that, because I, I specifically read that and they made a special note of it. The, 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 re- the reunion it was Degrassi special? next class reunion, it was a special called, there was a hashtag and everything, it was a big deal. Uh, well, Pat was in it as well. We were all in it, actually. The mother-child reunion, uh, oh, Degrassi geez. reunion. Yeah, who that was that what it was? Who is editing these IMDb pages? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm trying to be prepared. Else, but Stacey really is the only actor who's been on every incarnation she actually of the Degrassi. The, yes. She's series. been on more than I, that's the truth. Actually, it's actually wrong. I was not on Kids of Degrassi. Mm-hmm. So uh, well, so he was. Stefan was in everything from Degrassi Junior High. Junior high. Right. right. But I was only on from Kids of Degrassi Street to a few uh, first few seasons of The Next Generation. Yeah. So, but for the reunion special, um, they basically brought back me, Pat. Um, Amanda and Stefan were already, you were already there, obviously. I, which one are were we talking you? about? <laughs> Season the one, episode one. The first one where we come back. The Season reunion, one, the, the, where, oh. where Caitlin sees, Joey. I'm assuming it's that one, the reunion, because mm-hmm. it was. Yeah, I mean, we, that was all our first season, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, I'm trying to think, who else did they bring back? Uh, Anias, who played Lucy. Neil mm-hmm. was in it. Um, Neil was not in that one. Wait, that's the one where we have the big reunion at the school, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and Neil comes back and apologizes to, like, Wheels Lucy. comes and apologizes to Lucy. Oh, was that in the same one? I yes. guess it was. I was in the same We need to binge watch our own show yeah. because we <laughs> no, obviously we don't no remember. Idea. Listen, listen, I, I'm taking up too much time. I should. I, I was going to ask you about DJing, but that's, I mean, you know. I'll, that's her passion. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It was I, I wanted to get this in there so you guys can get back to the table because people are waiting. I wanted to hear more about uh, the Degrassi Palooza. I want to I want to just get it out there more, more sure. than just the panel. Yeah, right Absolutely. On. Can you tell me more about this? Uh, it's quite simply uh, the most um, involved and uh, incredible reunion for Degrassi junior high and high that will ever happen. So it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. We have fans flying in from Australia, all over North America to come to this event. 25 cast and essential crew members that help make the show happen from the show's co-creator to the head writer, to the publicist, to the people that worked in the art department and, and our wardrobe department who taught us how to act basically in our acting workshops. Uh, they'll all be there. We'll be having not, we'll have be uh, having discussions about us on the show like we did today, but also we'll be talking about social issues, issues that mean something to the actors today that they're passionate about. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's going to be two days of glorious Degrassi love. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I recommend that people you come. You should have called out. it that. Degra- glorious, De- glorious Degrassi, Degrassi love. De- yes, I should have. <laughs> uh, I'm not that bright. But, um, yeah, to find out more, just go to DegrassiTour.com. All right. Well, you know, I hope to see you at the next convention. And, and by the way, Pat, I... I want this on camera. Um, you, 
mess with me, but Laura, there's a picture in the background of me interviewing Laura Vandervoort. Yeah. And uh, and you tricked me into thinking that it wasn't going to happen, and you saw my soul. Uh. <laughs> you saw me get crushed because yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And you're like, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So I want I want people to know that you're a jokester. I am a jokester oh, sometimes. Is. I don't mean to hurt people. I've never been burned so hard. I'm not, I'm not a joker. That's really funny. Uh, anyways, thanks for taking the time, guys. Cheers. Thank uh, you. Take care. Thanks, Nate. Cheers. Thanks. Awesome.